What is up, Poke fans? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we are going to continue on our season four ranked battle ladder to hit Master Ball and prepare ourselves to the to the for the May regional here in Portland, Oregon, which I will be competing in. I'm all registered, ready to go, and we are ready to go here. We're going to continue on with Team Two. They've been kind of rocking the teams lately. The Talonflame Garchomp open is really, really hard to start like getting over. Of course, there's ways that you can beat this this team, but it's really hard. <laughs> It's incredibly hard. Now, one thing that I have been theory crafting, right? Everyone likes to go with like the ghost terra type for Talonflame. If you're not gonna use the Covert Cloak, I think if you keep with the Covert Cloak, but change his terra type to dark, making him immune to taunt, I think you have a really good um, outstanding opener, especially when he's teamed up with Pokemon like Dragonite or even Garchomp, Baxcalibur, bro, like, Iron Hands, freaking Roaring Moon, anyone that is able to get Tailwind up consistently is going to be devastating teams, especially with people like Great Tusk over there who likes to main Earthquake if he's not using, you know, stamping something. I don't remember what it's called. Okay, so we got Flutter Main, King Gambit, Iron Bundle, Arcanine, but we've got as well as uh, Great Tusk and Corviknight. Wow, that took a little bit harder than that should. Uh, Arcanine instantly makes me worried. He's gonna be able to pop our uh, Gale Wings, but we should be fine for everything else. We should also go into this and actually, do we do that? Do we do that? With King Gambit, he's got Sucker Punch. That might, oh, interesting. Uh, we've only got 30 seconds left, so we're gonna go with the original thought. Okay, so if I had a little bit more time, maybe Entity and maybe Garchomp, as a really good opener, but the point that I have, if I do that, I don't have a way to stop uh, hurting my own Pokemon with like Earthquake, which is probably why a lot of people are using uh, the, the stamping move more than Earthquake because you you injure your, your teammates if you just have all AOE attacks that just go all over the place. But we'll see. Iron Bundle and Arcanine. I kind of saw the opener being just that. That, but we're kind of times four to freaking ice right now with iron bundle. So I have to go into Tailwind here, Terra, Earthquake, and we're minus one attack because of Arcanine. Again, Arcanine's probably going to use extreme speed into the Talonflame. because of the fact that he can break Gale Wings that way and kind of break the, the speed tier. Because right after that, Iron Bundle's going to go next. So... Oh, he didn't! What? Why? Oh, that is such a... Oh, bad choice. Kerblamo, goodbye Arcanine. Get out of here. Hydro Pump. Is that why you didn't do it? Because you like knew that you're gonna Hydro Pump in the Talonflame? That was a terrible choice. This is an absolutely terrible choice. And I think I'm gonna come out with... We're gonna come out with Dragonite. He's flying, I can continue doing my Earthquake thing. So why not? And I have Tailwind. So I'm just going to go extreme speed into the iron bundle and I'm going to do my earthquake thing because I outspeed both of them with Talon flight or with Tailwind. So like as soon as you see Talon flame on there, good call. As soon as you see Talon flame on there, it would have been like the better choice to have, you know, stuff like that. I should have went right into the flutter main should have does not affect the 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 dragonite because you know why not <laughs> flying says no <laughs> and fluttermane almost got ko'd but not fully that's a gleam super effective on the dragonite but not really anything 
on the guard chop. Whew, this is a good fight so far. And this is still the first fight too. This is dope. Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You can't do- oh. That's a terrible choice. Kachink. And Earthquake. Here we go. Then I'll knock out both of these Pokemon. Now it is three versus one. See, I saw kind of like this team, at least the Garchomp Talonflame opener, and it completely wrecked me. And it's like, you know what? I want that. I want to give that a try. And this is why it is so strong. King Gamut, the Gourmet, also shiny. Shiny team, man. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're going to swap out that, and we're going to protect here. King Gambit, no Sucker Punch. <laughs> and I hate Sucker Punch. Flying. Good choice. Very good choice. You think I went for the Earthquake though, but I did not. I protected. What are you going to do? Assurance. Okay. Tailwind's now gone. But I'm going to sleep powder you if I can. And I'm just going to do the rock slide. Sucker punch. Saw that. But it's not like I could really have done anything different. There you go, go to sleep. Take a nap. And comes Dragonite. And we're gonna Pollen Puff. Nope, not Sleep Powder. Pollen Puff in the Dragonite. Dragonite's gonna use Ice Spinner onto the King Gambit. Here you go, have full HP. My man. And you're fast asleep. And I'm just gonna after you into the ice spinner. And I think this wraps up game one. Yep, there it is. Whew. I wonder, did they click? Sucker Punch both times there. I mean, that was a good game one. I, I I still feel like if you would have clicked like Protector, something that gives you priority, you would have acknowledged that the fact that your Pokemon may or may not have woken up a, a turn, or at least giving you that indication that they're going to wake up. Yeah, we'll keep battling. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Oh, we're almost there. 18 and 20, like one more game. I think one more game would, uh, would, would teeter us over to to Master Ball. I uh, have to increase the, the PP of uh, Extreme Speed though. Five is pretty low. Moongus, uh, Arm Rouge. Ooh, Gyarados. Let me try this again. <laughs> Moongus, uh, Arm Rouge, Gyarados, Hydreigon, Iron Hands, and Iron Th Treads, I think that's his name. Okay, that's a very interesting team. Uh, we're going to go here to here uh, to there. And Moongus might be a problem. So this is kind of like a wee or interweave of like Trick Room and not Trick Room. So maybe having Torkoal in the back might be useful. No, we'll, we'll still bring in the Lil again. Because <laughs> sleeping people is such a disruptor. Like, hey, go to sleep. 
Hey, go to sleep again. Hey, you like that thing that you were doing? Hey, go to sleep again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let this be a W. That'd be sick. Let me hit that master ball. Armor Rouge and Amoongus. I'm gonna taunt Armor Rouge. And we're just gonna Earthquake it up. Are you gonna swap? Nothing? Are you hoping that you can get Trick Room off with Armor Rouge? Is that what the, the deal is here? I mean, I'm rooting for you. If you use Wide Guard here, you totally caught me off guard. Rage Powder? Okay. That's gonna take the taunt. Good show. Good show. Earthquake. Armors is down. Don't have to worry about Trick Room. Let's go. And what are you using? Oh, Citrus Berry. Okay. That's neat. Uh, Gyarados up next. Oh, Red Gyarados. Look at that. You are Intimidate. But you're also flying. That's something I'll have to worry about here right now. But I'm going to Tailwind. And I'm going to go ahead and just Rock Slide. Because I still have prior. Uh, well, I don't have priority yet, but Tailwind will give me priority. So I should have an up and up, right? You look so good. With through the Amoongus. That's a good uh, Iron Treads. Okay. Pork Drive. Is it speed? Speed. Tailwind. The Rock Slide. Flinch. Flinch. Nope. Dragon Dance. That's okay, though. I'll go to there. That has no effect. I might have... You know what? I don't think Iron Treads can do anything to me. Let's just go straight into the Gyarados. I think that's the better play. It's a good thing that I went to the Gyarados and not into Iron Treads. So I broke my own Gale Wings, but I took down a Pokemon that literally could not be attacked with either Earthquake or uh, barely got anything from like um, Rockfall or whatever it's called. I know I I'm very good at Pokemon, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and Flare Blitz into the Amoongus because he's going to set up for that. And I'm is it oh, it's Rock Slide. I mean, same thing, right? Same thing, right? Uh, the crappy thing is, though, would speed still be applied if you swapped out your Pokemon? It doesn't really do like a stat boost per se, but it does do something. I guess that that might be something that we'll have to do information on. Okay, you change yourself to water. Again, you'd remove your resistances if you do that. Rage Powder, so, okay, that's totally fine. Um, Talonflame was already going to attack you. You just don't receive that much damage now. Oh, but you're burnt. Oh, neat. 
but Earthquake. <laughs> Does not affect Talon playing. Rock Tomb? Okay. Why do I feel like that was way less than it should have? I'll bring out Lil again. We should have one more turn of Tailwind. If not, it just peered out. Okay, we have one more turn. Yeah, yeah, I'll just go on the Hyper Offensive. You can either Protect or Rage Powder. But Lilligan's already going to go into one Pokemon, so... I mean, go for it. Go for it. Iron Treads is down. And here comes Sleep Storm. And there we go. Match two is over. Did we hit it? Did we hit Master Ball? Good game, Maverick, by the way. 4 0, oh, just total sweep. No, 3 and oh. Jonathan got knocked out, I forgot. Let's quit battling. I want to see this. I want to see this. Oh, no, just no. Uh, dang it. We're so close. I was hoping that was it. I just won like two matches in a row, though. I think we'll have it one more time. If we if we get one more W, we'll have it. That's dope, though. That's so dope. All right. We have Slow King, Golden Go, Tinkaton, Fluttermane, Amoongus and the Don Sparse. Obvious Trick Room Setters. I, I really love this team. Like, I really love having Garchomp, Talonflame, Lilligant, and freaking Dragonite. Like, that's so dope. That's so dope. Right now, I have uses for Entity. She does come out. She does do stuff. It's just hard. <laughs> oh, this is so great. And even my man Torkoal, who is like the main fixture of the team, is even taking a backseat to these things, which is a-okay with me. Like, if you can give me a, like a, a sleeper like Lilligant that can do like after you, that's really, really fast. I would like that would instantly like replace her. But she also gets she's not a, like heavily attacked by um, Garchomp's own earthquake, which makes her like the prime partner for him. I mean, it pops her sash, but she's naturally fast. And with Tailwind on like inactive, like activated, she automatically gets the speed bo uh, bonus as if she was in the sun. Like it's insane. All right, the Dunsparce and Fluttermane, let's go. Okay. Energy boot or boost energy. So speed is up. We'll go this to that so we don't get affected by fairy. We don't resist it, but we're not affected by it either. We might change Garchomp's Terra instead of it being like offensive to be defensive. Like it would be kind of neat to have a fire Terra Garchomp because he can't be burnt. So that might be like a useful strategy, right? What are you, the Dunsparce? Are you flying? You are normal. Okay. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna Tailwind. So Garchomp gets to go next. And because I know Fluttermane doesn't have Sash, this will most likely kill her. There she goes. For sure. And you're Terra normal. What do you do normal? There's the Citrus Berry. 
What do you got? Bomb burst. Bomb boom burst. Ow! Owie! Oh, and they left. <laughs> Does that count for a game three? Do we do another one? <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't knock out any of their Pokemon. Screw him. I'm out. <laughs> or did I leave? I couldn't have left. Let's see. Did I leave or did he? I left? What are you talking about? I didn't click leave. What are you talking about? Oh my God. What was that? That's not fair. That was my game. I ha I could have won that. I had Tailwind. I didn't leave. They left. I guess we'll do one more since apparently what I thought counted cannot count because the game forced me to leave. That's bullcrap. That's so bullcrap. All right. So we have Raichu, Mouse Grotta, Star Raptor, Palafin, Skeledurge, and Murkrow. Murkrow. So this is going to be a very interesting thing. Uh, how do I deal with this? stuff though he's got relatively fast pokemon everyone except for skeleturge palafin's gonna get fast when he becomes zero to hero star raptor mouse like they have about 150 160 i think they go even higher but with Merker on there it's gonna be higher than that so it's about double so it's about 200 something and raichu could have fake out he could be the fake out person i don't see a trick rumor but that might be a good option and that might be a good option we'll see he's gonna get um, trick, uh, Tailwind off first because he's Murkrow and Murkrow does Murkrow things. Dang, I'm so mad. I'm so freaking mad that it took out my freaking third game. That's so bullcrap. Bullcrap. You didn't... Okay. Uh, Tailwind and I'm just gonna... Earthquake. I mean, you're gonna hard switch out that Palafin. Are you gonna go into like Murkrow after that? Ice? Okay. Are you gonna have Terra Blast? So you think I'm gonna like be times four to to ice? I'm gonna be times two to ice because I'm gonna be ground. But you're also assuming that you're gonna live this. I mean, he might. He's ice now and not a really effective against ground, but we'll see. Tailwind goes off. You're not hard switching Palafin either. Interesting. Focus Sash on the uh, Raichu. Terra Blast. I'll live. Flip turn. I'll live. You're gonna bring out Murkrow now, right? There's Murkrow. And I'm just gonna rock slide because Murkrow is gonna automatically either do Quash, Haze, could also do Tailwind. My best guess is going to do Tailwind. Yep, Tailwind. Problem is, I still outspeed Raichu on two occasions. Not because it's like a stab or anything from like Flare Blitz or anything like that. It's just because of the fact that these Pokemon hit with our tailwind um like through like almost 300 maybe like 280 something i'll have to bring up the calcs later here comes palafin with zero to hero
Jet punch. Priority. Saw that coming. I should have protected, by the way. Just to keep him on the field a little bit, a little bit longer. Here comes Brave Bird. Halifan's gone. And Murkrow, what are you going to do now? Wash? Oh, foul play. That's okay. I'll take that. Um, because now I open up with... Uh, Torkoal Elegant. <laughs> and that's a really hard combo to come fight against. Oh my god, Lilligan's going to be so fast. She's already 312 in the sun. Ooh. Corruption. Sleep Powder? I think Sleep Powder might be useful. Yeah, Sleep Powder. That's okay. She's gonna live. Unless you burn her, she's gonna live. Do you have Throat Spray? Throat Spray. Across down. Now that I know that you have Throat Spray, you're not stopped. Oh, you're, yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, team's tailwind appeared out. Oh man. I'm so upset. <laughs> and I mean, we'll just have to double up into it, right? It's the only thing that we can do. He'll have his guaranteed first turn, you know, sleep. Oh, that just did nothing. I guess this is where Earth Power would come in, like, heavily. There, his Tailwind's gone. Let's go into that, and we'll just go straight into after you. I don't even want to take the, the chance. I don't even want to take the chance. I know that Eruption's going to do a lot of damage. I don't even... Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, that was a nice strategy. Very nice strategy. Mo you should have um, hard switched Palafin. I mean, flip turn is, uh, is is useful. Don't get me wrong there, but it does the damage that you would have done if you would have just hard switched out and came back in. It would be boosted exponentially. But that's gonna be our three games. I should be in Master Ball. I hate you, game, for kicking me out. I'm upset about it right now, but I'll get over it. It's fine. That's what happens sometimes. But I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll be back for more Season 4 Ranked Battles. And that's that's it. That's all that I got. Team 2 is looking pretty good. I, I can't wait to play Team 3 online and see how it goes. But until then, have a good one. I'll see you all later. Peace.